Hey guys, this is uh, Lexi's little baby. She's oh, three and a half days old now. So Lexi had a Caesar um, on Monday evening. So she hasn't really got a lot of milk yet and only because there's just the one baby, she's not producing very much milk. So as you can see, I'm just having to feed her. It's a good little one. She's born 100 grams, just over three ounces. I'm not sure if you can see properly, but I have to just concentrate on her for a minute. And you can see the, I don't know if you can see her tongue on the side there, the little red thing. That way I know that she's, she's latched. Now just be really careful if you're doing this that the tongue is down and not up. There's no point shooting milk in underneath the tongue. <laughs> but she's got a little pour up out of the way there, or in the way. Hello, are <laughs> you waving at everybody? Oops, having a break? Okay, you have a little break. Put that there for a sec. Don't go anywhere. You want some more? Hmm? Let's see if she wants some more. She is having some feeds from Lexi, but like I said, Lexi hasn't got much milk, so it's... I know, you're all excited, aren't you? She hasn't got much milk at all, so... The little one, I need to do this every three hours. Still feeding from Lexi, but then having these feeds as well. Hang on, let me see, make sure your little tongue's down. Once she's had one feed, she gets all excited and it's difficult to latch her back on again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, here we go. I'm get the tissue out of the way. Okay, tongue's down. No, oh, spitting it out. Have you had enough? Feel that little tummy. Oh, it feels like a big tummy. She might have had enough. She lets me know when she's had enough. Obviously, I don't want to overfill her tummy. Hey, little one. <laughs> Well, she's still looking for more. I'll see if she wants some more. All right, I just thought I'd show you her. I'm going to get back to feeding her. G'day, guys. Welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. I'm going to pour my little heart out with some resin today. I've got this huge tray mold. Uh, this one came from um, Shattered Shapes on Etsy. So if you want one of these, check that store out. I am using it with my new, drumroll, crystal inlay that I've made. So it's bigger than the, oh, where is it? I'll put it away. It's bigger than the Druzy one, the insert that I did this tray with. That was a thin Druzy one. This is this is quite a, a thick, and you can see um, that it's a much bigger, like crystal look. So I'm going to use that one. Uh, it's not as big, obviously, as my huge, huge, huge crushed velvet insert that I made. Um, that goes with the round tray that I made, but I'm using this one. It's not in my store yet, but if it works today and everyone likes it, I'll pop it in my store. Now, I just want to make sure that I'm kind of equal. I don't know if I should go from that point or from this point. Maybe this point here. So that's about 11 centimetres. And that's 12 so we'll just shimmy over a little bit just try to yeah yeah I don't know if I should use that one or, or that one it's tricky um, anyway it's 11 from there I guess just having a look and see what looks nice really I don't know that measurements are that important with a um, an odd shape like this but that's five and a half. That's five. So let's go. But again, this is not very big here. Four, three and a half. Okay, we'll just move up just a 
a touch. Has that made any difference? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I don't know. Just basically put it where you want to put it, I guess. Push it down. You will probably get a little bit of resin underneath, a bit of overflow. That's totally normal. Um, I have gone through and cleaned my mould and cleaned my insert with some alcohol and some tape. Make sure you got everything off. Um, I'm going to put these black handles on when I'm done. Actually, maybe that will determine as well. See, I've got much more room on this side because it's more pointy. I might have to move it over. Hey, because then that's that amount, that's that amount. That's going to be too close there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter too, too much. The handles will just have to be equal distances from the actual Druzy insert. And this is just a little bit on the close side here. But anyway, I'll work it out. I'm going to use those. I've got them on Amazon. Um, I am going to do black around the edge. And I'm only using inks today. No um, <clears throat> pastes. I think I put, I can't remember now, did I put a little bit of pigment paste or pigment powder or something in this one? And it kind of bled a little bit. So I'm going to see what happens with just inks today. So black for the outside, that's the piñata black. Um, I've got some rainforest green. I kind of want black and then I want sort of greeny teals. I've also got this one, it's a tint. I'm going to see what it looks like. I'm going to put the rainforest green, because this always goes blue for me. I'm going to put a little bit in these little cups and just mix them up and see what they do before I mix up a whole batch. Um, and then I thought some lime green for the centre with a little bit of gold sparkle in it. So that's my plan today. That's my plan, Stan. So I thought I'd get all of that out of the way and talk to you about that. And now I'm going to mix up my resin. <clears throat> it's going to take a lot of resin. So I'm thinking I'm going to mix it up in two parts because I don't want to mix up like a whole heap and then it goes off. So I thought I'll mix up 480 grams, pour that, and then I'll mix up another probably 480 grams and then pour into the center and let it all sort of move out to the sides. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the plan anyway. We'll see if it works. So I'm going to mix up my resin. I'll be right back. Right, I've mixed up my resin. See, it's quite a lot. I'd have to do two jugs for this mould and then probably a top coat as well. Because, I, like, I don't want to put the handles in now because, um, you know, you wouldn't be able to get your fingers under there. So it's going to have to go in the top coat. This mould is... Uh, let's have a look. It is almost two centimetres, not quite two centimetres. This is a little bit difficult to, to measure, but the highest point is probably um, just over one centimetre. So you have to make sure that if you're using a druzy insert or a big crystal, this is a chunky crystal, let's call it chunky crystal. <laughs> Uh, insert that your mold that you're putting it in is going to be deep enough to accommodate that plus your resin on top okay so make sure you think about that righto uh, let's put let's just try I want to try these two greens let's just put a little bit of resin in not too much I don't want to waste it but I want to see what the colors are going to do before I make up a whole batch of it because once you've made up a whole batch of it and you don't like it, then it's too late, isn't it? So this is a good idea to do this. Now this is a tint. <clears throat> I don't even know where this came from, actually. Probably from Lorez, maybe. So it looks as if it's sort of a, a greeny turquoise, doesn't it? Let's just do one drop for now. Let's see what it's going to do. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's perfect. That's just what I want. Because I'm after green this time. This one, this one was blue. Uh, this time I want to go green. Okay, like that a lot. 
Let's just see what the rainforest green is going to do. Maybe I can use both. So this is an alcohol ink. So it spreads much more. The other one was a tint. You can see how it spreads. And you can see <laughs> it goes blue. It's called rainforest green, I know. But every time I use it, I think that is not green. Uh, it's not green, it's blue. Look at that. It's blue. So that's why, whoops, that's why I do the test. You can clearly see. So I'm not going to use that. Let's put you over there in the naughty corner. Rainforest green. Ha! Huh. You're not a green. I wish they'd make a nice green. So the only green, I, well, the only green I've got from Piñata is the lime. So we'll go with that. And um, alrighty, let's get started. So the first one, I'm just gonna, I've got this little corner over here that I can use. I hope you can see it. Let me have a look. Uh, yes, just. That's where I'm gonna have to mix my colours. So let's do the black first. And again, I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. I'll just do, that's about a three quarters of a cup. And we've got the Piñata Black, Mantilla Black. It's black. And I want it to be opaque, so I'm just going to go squirt, squirt, and see what it does. Make sure that I don't stir over my chunky crystal druzy insert. So I had to spill black on that. That's going to have the lime with the gold sparkle in it. <gasps> Won't that look pretty? I don't have gold handles. I did have gold handles. These. And I use them. I'll show you. I have to get everything out of the way so I can get to it. Oh, I used it on this, you see. On my leaf platter with the gold handles, which were amazing. But I got one gold, one silver, and one black. So let's put that away again. And I used my silver on this one. So now I've only got the black left. Don't think I've got any other gold handles. That's all right. I think the black will look nice with it. Hope so. If once it's finished, if they don't look any good, I'll have to pop out to the store and buy some gold ones because I don't think I've got any left. All right, I think that's, I think that's black enough. That was two squirts. Okay, so here we go. Make sure it's all clean, make sure it's pushed down. I'm just going to go around the edge. Here I'm going to make the black a little bit wider um, and then down here I'm just going to put a little bit of black just so it's kind of sort of equal. Kind of, sort of. It's not going to go very far, is it? This resin that I've made up. I'm go around. I don't want to drip in my crystal insert. It didn't go very far, did it? Now the next one I want to do is the greenish tint because when I did my blue tray uh, the other day I found that the black encroached on into that too much so I'm going to put some of the green around there. And I'll do probably equal amount of that one. So that's the tint, mm, resin tint. I don't know, it doesn't say, it doesn't say what it is. Um, I'm just gonna do one squirt for now. Hopefully that's not too much. Cause I still want it to be 
sort of a transparent. It's going to look odd against the pink, I know that. But you can see that it's still quite transparent. I don't want it too transparent because I don't want to be able to see all the way through it. But it just, I think that should be nice. That was one squirt. I should find out what that colour is called actually. Now I'm going to put that along here and just push that black out of the way a little bit. Shoo, move over. Whoops, whoops, can't see what I'm doing. My hand's in the way. Like so. Now, I'm just hoping that that bit of green there will kind of keep the black at bay a little bit. Obviously, they're going to blend. That's, that's to be expected. But um, I just want it to keep it a little bit at bay. What does that mean, keep it at bay? I don't know. We say these things, I don't even know what they mean. I'll keep my cups um, because I'm going to make up another batch of resin. So I think what I probably should do now, because I haven't come all the way to the top of my insert, um, I'll make up some more black. Let me torch while I'm thinking about it. Oh look, I've got this little bit left. What should I do with that? Probably shouldn't be putting in, it's probably a different colour. Doesn't matter. Let's blend it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put that little bit in. Seems a bit darker. It'll blend. It'll be fine. Uh, I think the black will encroach a little bit as well. I'm just going to throw those out. There we go. Right, now let me torch for some bubbles. I'm just going to use my little guy here. And you can see the ring of bubbles there already. And there in the black. I'm just going to be careful not to get too close with the torch on any silicone mould because you'll melt it and then your resin will fuse to the silicone and um, you might better get it out, it'll tear. So that's why I'm using just a little torch. I do find I have to use a torch though, like I've tried those um, embossing tools, you know the little heat guns. It just For me it just blows the resin around. Alright, so that's the first lot. I don't want to overheat it. I'm just going to wait for those bubbles to come back up because I can still see that there's some there. Um, now, oh gosh, this is the part I struggle with. Do I put more black in because the black will take over or do I just put some more green in? I've still got this. I'm going to put some more green in and then I'll come back and um, we'll do the lime over the top. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need. I won't use all of this just in case there's a tiny bit left. Just in case I want to make up some more black. Now there's only half a cup there, not a three quarters of a cup like there was last time. So I won't put too much in. I'll just do a little squirt. And then it can kind of get darker and darker as it goes out. That's, the, that's kind of the look that I was hoping for. Get darker as it goes out. I don't know, it's hard to tell if this one's less concentrated. It's going to mix it up really well though. Some of the alcohol inks I find like if you don't mix them up properly they have like little, it feels like little gritty bits in it. It's weird and they kind of float to the top. Had a bit of that with my blue one that I did the other day. So it takes a lot of resin, doesn't it? We're not even at the top of the, the insert yet. I think I'll make up the rest of it just in the black and put a little bit more black in. Just for drama. And then um, I'll pause, I'll make up some more resin. I'll make it the lime colour. Pour it on top. 
and then once you pour it on top the other colors will kind of rush in next to it uh, and then we'll get that beautiful blending with any luck all right put that cup aside Got a little bit left that I can use for the black it's not much left and then I'm gonna I'll just use this same jug I think I'll have to probably mix up the same amount of resin because I've only come up probably halfway up my insert so that's telling me I'm probably going to need another jug full. I wonder if it's okay to mix it back in this one. It should be all right, shouldn't it? I don't really know. I'm just going to wipe that because I've dripped. Resin's a messy thing, isn't it? But if you just take your time and be careful with it, it's not too bad. A little bit of black in that one. I'm just going to pour this around the very edges, not that there's much there. See once I've made up my next batch of resin and I've poured the lime over it and I've seen what it's all going to look like and I think oh I need more black, I'll just mix up a little bit more black. But I'd just rather do it in stages rather than just chuck the whole lot in at once. If you catch my drift. Probably need more around here for sure. And around here and I don't know that I'll put any more along there just yet I can like I said I can always add to that later on but this area here is wide oh no I spilled <gasps> trying not to spill I'm gonna have to try and get that out ruin my design look at you look what you've done how am I gonna get that out soak it out with a piece of paper towel maybe would that work kind of I think it's all gonna blend Anyway, I do think it will blend. All right, let's leave that like that. All righty, look at all my bubbles again. You can see the rings of bubbles, hey? I'm just going to clean off my hands before I pick up my torch because I've got resin on my gloves. Let's torch. Get all those bubbles. And then when I stop to make up some more resin, more bubbles will come to the surface and I can give it another quick torch. Go around once. I'm using a pretty thin resin. Um, it's called a low viscosity resin, which means it's pretty thin. There's a hair in there already. Um, I just think that it's easier, the bubbles come up much better, like it has better bubble release, as they say, in a low viscosity resin. If it's a thick resin, the bubbles tend to get trapped more easily and they can't come up to the surface because it's much much thicker resin it's like um, what do you call it like quicksand you know it's just thick it's hard to get anything out of it all right I'm gonna leave it like that I'm gonna mix up another batch just waiting for that to turn off come off off you go go all right, he's off. Make sure he's off before you put him down. Okay, um, mix up some more resin. And um, I'll be back. <gasps> it's a bit dark, isn't it, for you to see? Can you see? Oh, I don't know. Right, I've got my other resin mixed up. Let's sit there, another big jug full. It's the, um, the last little bit in my jug. And it had these lumpy bits in it, so I hope it's going to be all right. Hmm, don't know. Anyway, let's do it. This is going to be the lime. So I'm just going to mix up a cupful, pour it on and see what it does. And then the next cup of lime, I'm going to add the gold sparkle to it. Let's just do 
one squirt for now, see what it's going to do. Not sure what colour it's going to be. Hope that resin's going to be all right. Never had that before. You know, when you're at the bottom of your your jug of resin, do you ever get those little little kind of lumpy bits? You probably won't be able to see them. It's just weird. I can see them floating around in there. Okay, now, um, what happens if I add just, just to darken that, just a touch for the first layer. Let's do two drops of that darker ink. Oh, that's made a big difference to it. Two drops, whoa! Probably won't be as noticeable once it's poured on and then the next layer the center one will be the lightest all right here we go I'm gonna pour from up high pour that in that's a really pretty color green and then I'll mix up the, the lime without that extra in it and I'll put a little bit of the gold in it and then pour that in and that'll just push that to the outside. So let's do that. Because I didn't really want the gold like right through the whole thing. I just want the sort of sparkle in the center. One little squirt of the lime. And where did I put my gold? Over there. So you can see the structure of the, um, the chunky crystal insert there, where the green's sitting in it. Okay, I think that's mixed enough. Just got to make sure you've got no streaks and no little flecks of colour. Okay, let's put some of this in. I've still got... Actually, maybe I won't because I've still got another bit of, I've still got some resin left, which will probably be the top one. Let's put this through and see what it's going to do. It's going more yellow, isn't it? Uses so much resin, oh my gosh. Those colors are really pretty together the darker green and then the, the lime. See how it's pouring over there? It's leaving like a little round. I have to um, mix up some more quickly and pour that on. So this is going to be the lime with the sparkle. I don't even know if this is going to be enough to cover my insert. We shall see. All right, so another, it's not as full. Let's do a little squirt, like so. And a bit of the sparkle. I'm gonna do it right over here. So it doesn't fly into my resin. I'm gonna stir it over here, just bear with me. I don't want it flying into my tray. Give that a stir up. It's a pity I don't have gold handles because it would look really good with the gold handles. Alright, so that's nice and transparent with the gold sparkle. So, let's see what that looks like. Hey, let's go. Pouring that in from up high. Hopefully you won't get too many bubbles trapped in it. Can you see the sparkle? It's looking so pretty. And of course it will spread out. 
I don't even have enough. I don't think I've got enough to cover that. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of resin. Oh, there's a bit of unmixed in the centre there. It's probably stuck to the side of my cup. All right, let's just give that a minute to settle. The gold's dripping into the edges there. Look at that, it's giving a really pretty effect. I don't know if it'll stay like that or not, but we'll see. Let's torch these bubbles that have popped up. And I am gonna have to go and make up some more resin, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's costing me a fortune. I've actually, I'm not going to use the rest of that little bit of resin I've got in the bottom of that container because it's got the lumps in it, so I'm going to have to throw it out and open my new jug. So again, I'll put you on pause. Oh, I'll mix up some more resin. I might actually do some more black. What do you think? I know it's, it's probably a little bit hard for you to see up there what the colours are doing. something flown in there. I'm going to have to get that out. can't believe how much resin this is taking. Right, that'll do for now for torching. Turn off. There's something there. And there's something there. Get out. Alright. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go make up some more resin. I'll be back. Do that gold spread a long way? Just as well only put it in one layer. I can't believe it. I made up another big jug of resin. Same again, 480. I've mixed up some black. Now that I see how much green's in there, I realise that I could really do with a little bit more black. So let's put some more black all the way around like so more around the edges here but still some around there and a little bit more there uh, I think that looks about even the green's eaten up the black. Now, do I want to put any more? I think I might do another layer of um, green around there. So I don't really like how that gold has kind of flowed down through these gaps and made circles. So I'm just wondering what would happen if I did another cup of the green and just put it around the inside of the black there. I'm going to try that and then the rest of it I think will just go on the top again. So a little bit more of this one. Give it one squirt to begin with, see how that's going to go. Might make it a bit darker. Another squirt. This is certainly a challenge, isn't it? This is a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's better. Look at that. Now we're getting a, a nicer green. So I'm going to run that along the inner edge of the black that I just poured. Around there. Have I got enough? Yes. A little bit more on the the wider bit here. And being resin, it'll it'll blend and mix and do what it wants to do, I guess. All right. Now, please be enough for the last lot to go over there. I'm just going to torch again because I can see lots of bubbles now. From that, 
Here we go again. Maybe I need to move up to my bigger torch for the bigger areas, but I don't want to risk it. I just have to risk it for the biscuit. Just have to be careful. And I'm hoping that the resin in the first two layers isn't starting to set up too much and is still going to, you know, blend with these, this top one that I'm doing. I just had, didn't realise it would take so much resin. Someone said to me in my in the comments of my last video where I did the, the blue crystal tray, they said, with the hands, why don't you glue them down first? And I thought, what a brilliant idea. So I think because they're, they're kind of wobbly, I'm not going to get them up now, but they're kind of wobbly um, hands. Uh, what, are they, what are they called? Handles. They're kind of a bit wobbly. So... They don't stand up properly on their own. Can't get that out. So yeah, I'll do that. I'll um, when this is set, I'll glue them down, and then um, I'll put the top coat on. Because this resin here that I'm using, um, it gives me an a mean blush, like it does. You know that little um oil slick on the top and I know people say it's due to humidity but I've used the two different resins on the same day and one blushed and one didn't so I believe it's it's something it's a chemical in the resin so for the top coat because I don't want the little oil slicks um, I'll be using a different resin and that's when I will um, the, the handles will stick into that top layer there so all right how's that going to look is that too too kind of yellowish hmm. which I could do like half a drop just to darken it just a bit just to get away from that yellow <clears throat> tone I don't think that did very much at all I was playing chicken with the ink Right, let's see how that goes. I've still got a little bit of resin left. And I just pour clear over the top. Just to see how that goes. Let's pour some resin in here. This is all I've got left now. This is it. I wiped my jug out got rid of that old resin that had the lumps in it so I wiped it out with a paper towel poured new resin from a new jug it's the uh, platinum ultra clear it's pretty cheap so I don't mind using a lot of it all right so that's it's pretty much clear it's just got a little bit of the other resin around the outside but it's pretty clear Pull that in. This is all I've got you guys. This, this is it. This is it. I still haven't gone over the top. I'm not going to do any more now. I'm going to wait for the, the next layer. Oops, see that bit? I haven't, that has a little bit of ink that wasn't mixed in properly. It was stuck to the side of your cup. Okay. Well, that was a mammoth effort, I must say. I don't think I'll do that. Right. Um, now, I won't bring you down for a close-up just yet. I'm going to wait and see what, what the resin does. Um... I'm hoping it's not too much black now because it will it probably will move a little bit. I wonder if I wonder what'll happen if I just kind of I don't know if I should like ziggy zaggy it or just leave it. I don't know. Oh, I'll leave it for a little bit. I'll leave it. I'll let it let it sit and do what it wants to do. Okay. Pity I haven't got enough just to go. Maybe I can just cover them like that, hey? 
just so they're not sticking out. So they've got a little bit of colour over the top of them. I'll just have to pour my clear top coat over the top later on. Just cover them. Oh look, they're covered! <laughs> there we go, at least I can say they're covered. I did just. Oh my god. Alright. Hope this works, you guys. It's a lot of resin. Alright, um, I'll be back. I don't know when. I'm just all in a fluster now. I'll be back for the next coat. See you soon. Hey guys, it's been a few hours. The top has, I think, set enough to do the next coat. It's looking really, really dark. I don't think I should have put that extra black around that I did, but I did. Um, I can sort of see in here, I can see some lighter colours. Um, because the mould is pink, it's really hard to know like what it's going to look like. But I just feel it's so dark. I put the black handles on and they just disappeared. And I thought, well, if I don't end up liking this, um, then there's no point me using my good expensive handles on this. So I've just balanced these two silver ones here just to see what they look like. Um, I haven't stuck them down or anything, but they sit quite nicely, so that's okay. And then I thought, well, what can I do with this? Because if I don't like it, I've wasted so much resin. Um, and if it's just like really dark around there and then that's pale, then it's not going to be very nice. But I found these stickers. Do you guys remember when I did those 3D fish? <laughs> um, I don't know whether you saw it or not, but I've got a lot of these leaves and lily pads and things left. And I thought that might be nice just to kind of stick them around. Just for some interest and a bit of colour against all this darkness. Um... And then I'll pour the clear over. So, look, I don't know whether or not that's a good idea, but at the moment, I just don't like it as it is. So, I'm just going to peel a few of these off and just stick them on randomly, like so. <laughs> and we'll see what happens, eh? Hey? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. As they say, where's the end there? So yeah, I've got a few like little lily pad looking things. Some big ones and some smaller ones. Just gonna, I'll, prob I'll try probably not to put too many too close to that so they can still see the light, the light green, well, the darker green, but if there is any green under there, hopefully we can still see it. So I'll kind of, Put them in the darker areas more. I'll try and do a try and get a wriggle on so that I'm not taking up too much time. So I don't know. You guys are probably going, no, don't do it. But um, yeah, <laughs> I'm doing it. I just don't like it the way it is. So why not? make it any worse well maybe it can <laughs> I don't know what else we got now there's these like broken leaves I think they're probably going to be a little bit dark I don't mind this one it's kind of a brownish color put that one on Now where was that? I kind of marked it so that it was in the right spot. I forgot that they weren't stuck down. It took me a little while to put them there, you see, because I put them there and I had the tape measure out and I made sure that they were correct the way I wanted them. I've only got two of these kind of brownish coloured ones. So I'll just do that. And what else? What else can I use? Oh, look, there's like a four-leaf clover. Maybe a few little ones, smaller ones closer to the middle, so we're not taking up too much. Oops, it's stuck to me. Hmm. 
There we go. What else? What of these can I use? I guess I could use this one. It's it's kind of looks like a half eaten leaf. Which is pretty cool. Same with this one. This one's pretty cool too. Like that. I don't have any fish. Oh, stop it! Julie! I don't have any fish or anything to put in it. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't going. No! Don't do it! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I do. I do. Natural looking. Oops. See what happens when I make a noise, when I shout out like that? The dogs hear me and they get all worried that there's something going on. I'm all right, doggologs. A doggologs an opposite to a catalogue. <laughs> Where's that one going to go? I don't want to put them so that they look too placed. I'm going to need some more leaves. Coming through there, maybe. Under there. Okay. Oops, I've got a few of these. I haven't used these yet. These look quite cute. They've got like little brown tips on the ends of them, which will tie into that sort of brownish leaf there. I'll try and get a wriggle on. Not sure how many to put on actually. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, I already got one of them. Okay, I'll leave some gaps. Probably just need something. Mm, might leave that. I might put something just there. Uh, what can go there? That one. And what else? Mm. How about that? All right, I think that's enough, hey? I mean, I've still got more. Oh, actually, maybe there's, look, there's some little tiny ones. Maybe I'll just, oh, I've got resin on the back of them. A few little, little itty bitty ones. Just to kind of bring them in a little bit more. So they're not in a big circle around the outside. Okay, now I'm done. All right, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to mix up my resin and I'm going to use my top coat resin, the um, Delcom Crystal Clear, which doesn't give me that oil slick look. So I've stuck these down, so hopefully that, you know, I won't get any bubbles underneath because they are stuck down. And this is just going to be like a, this reminded me kind of of a lily pond because of the colour. So maybe that's what we're going to be. We're going to be like a, a nature, a nature pour. Oh, I don't know. All right, I'll be back in a sec. We've got my resin mixed up. There it is. <laughs> Another big cup full of resin. All righty, here we go. I'm just gonna pour this on. Let it run to the edges on its own. I did make sure that my board that's under the mold was really nice and level this morning before I started. So hopefully it will level nicely. I'll just have to push some of it to the edges, I think. Give it a bit of a helping hand. All right. Okay. 
And that's it there. I don't really want to scrape too much out of that cup. The sides, you know, sometimes you have got unmixed resin on the sides of your cup. So I'd rather just leave that little tiny bit in there. I'm just going to push all this to the edges. I probably made up a little bit more than I needed. I did another 400 grams. But um, I thought, oh, I don't want to be short, you know, and not have enough. So, because I was going to do like 300 and about 300 and I thought, oh, I'll just do another 100. It won't make that much difference. Let's make sure we're all up against the sides. Whoops, you're not, are you? Are under there. Let's fix you up. So this is the Delcom Crystal Clear. Uh, it is a bit thicker than what I was using before. The one-to-one -one resins definitely seem to be thicker than the two-to-one -one resins. And uh, as far as I, my experiments, the one-to-ones don't seem to get that amine blush that the uh, two-to-ones get. My two to ones around the top of the um, the lid get this white sort of crusty residue, and I've shown you before in, in a previous video that um, it does that. But my one to ones don't do that, so it's very interesting. So there we go. That's it there. Now I'm just going to torch because there's lots of bubbles. So these little leaves that I've just put on, leaves and lilies, they look really 3D under here. I hope it'll turn out all right. I was just really disappointed when I came back and checked on it and I thought, oh no, it's just all black. You can't, you can't see from up there, but I can see down, I can see a little bit of the green and the gold through here, but certainly not as much as I was expecting. So that second cup of black, I shouldn't have put that on because the black sort of all came from the outside in and, and really did take over. So next time, I don't know if I'll do another one, but um, next time I'll know not to use so much black. <clears throat> right, I might leave it like that and then I'll come back to it. I'll just wait five or ten minutes and wait for the bubbles to rise again and then I'll, I'll come back. I don't really have anything big enough to cover it with. With my other one, I've got my big food net out to cover it. But, um, you know, the food net, I think it catches dust and stuff on it. So when I opened it up and put it over, like all this dust dropped into it. So I'm not going to do that again. All right. I'll, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. I'll come back. <clears throat> well, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, blow the bubbles again. Oh, I haven't done the middle, but, um, I'll come back to you. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe the next day. We'll see. Oh no, I have to work. It'll have to be tomorrow. I'll unmold it. See how it looks, eh? Hey? All right. Turn off. Turn off. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go down for a close-up actually before I say goodbye. I'll just turn my ring light off so it doesn't reflect everywhere. It's still going to reflect. It's awful for reflections. Awful for reflections. But see down there, you can kind of see a bit of green and a bit of gold under there. And it's really hard. It's just so reflective. It's picking up every little reflection. But you can kind of see in there. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> it's really hard to photograph. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
Good morning. I'm really nervous about this one just because I don't want to waste all that resin I've just put in. So it's set. Look at that. This is the next day. I'm not waiting any longer. <laughs> what I will do probably though <clears throat> is after I've demolded it and taken photos and things, I'll put it back in the mold. Um, if you don't do that for like at least a week, the that trays can bow. So it's really important to either leave it in there if you possibly can, or when you finish looking at it, put it back in. Okay. I mean, you could you could weight it down on the edges, and I've done that before, but because it wasn't set properly, like it left a ring where I left my bottle of paint to weigh it down. So don't do that either. All right, let's have a look. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Oh look how thick it is. Look at that. Actually, I should show you the top hey before we go any further. Look at that, no amine blush. Beautiful, shiny surface, perfect. But um, I did get the amine blush <clears throat> on the layer before, on the same day. It's out, it's out, it's out. Actually, I'm gonna get something white to put down underneath. Hang on one sec. I just took the silicon mat from underneath, so we've got a white, a white bottom. All right, so when we flip it over, oh look, you can see green, you can see green, oh my gosh, <gasps> look at that. And here I was thinking it was going to be way too black. So definitely, I'm trying not to touch the top because it's not, you know, set yet, cured yet. So you, if you press hard, you'll, you'll leave fingerprints, so you don't want to do that. But we've got the black along the very edge. Wow, I definitely thought we were going to have way too much black. So when I flip this over, we're going to see the back of that chunky crystal insert, okay? So here we go. I'll flip it and just put it there on its little handles. So it's a bit wobbly on its little handles. Now let's let's get this out. Now with the inserts that have, um, gee, there's no overflow. Look at that, oh, tiny, tiny bit. With the inserts that have this um, sort of straight edge, you won't get um, as much sort of leakage and stuck bits as you would if you were using, um, what am I going to use to get that out? If you were using one of those inserts that had, you know, like the, the little thin ones that had all those little, um, sort of, oh, what do you call them? Like crystally looks on the outside that sort of slope down. So yeah, they're a little bit more difficult to get out. Just want to loosen that if I can. With my just get a palette knife in there. All right, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Comes out really easily. I'll show you the difference actually before I go any further while I'm thinking about it. So this one and this one, which is also, this is like a smaller crystal. See, it's got the straight edges. So they're really easy to get out of your mold. These ones, on the other hand, this is what I couldn't describe. It looked like, like this little edge. I don't know. Those ones, which are much thinner, um, <clears throat> as opposed to these ones, which are thicker, These ones are a little bit more difficult to get out. Um, and you will find that the little loose pieces will get stuck and may get, well, probably will get stuck and, and sort of break off in your resin. Now that's totally normal with these. You just have to realize that if you're buying one of these, that's going to happen with these little loose edges. As you get back though, like this little bit here, as you get back further into the, the mold itself, where it's a little bit thicker, that'll stop happening. But to begin with, you'll lose all these little, little tiny bits. And if you've watched other people using these, um, the same thing happens. So that's just how they are. Right, let's get on with this. Oh, look, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, wow, I kind of want to use it on this side now. You can see all the gold sparkle. And look, it comes out beautifully clean. A tiny little bit of overflow there, and that should just pop off easily like that. Look at that. That's all there was, that bit and that tiny bit there. That's it. 
All right, are we ready? Let's pull it out. I <gasps> love that noise. Oh, look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, now I want to do one with this side showing. There it is. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'll make some more of these. Uh, the next one I'm making is going to be a little bit bigger. But, um, yeah, I'll do some more of those. If, if anyone wants one, let me know. I'll put them in my shop. Oh, I love it. Wow. Can't stop looking at it. All right, let's flip it over and <clears throat> see what it looks like the other way. I'll hang on to the, the handles for the great reveal. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, now I kind of have to zoom you more out. Zoom you out a little bit further. Look at that. Oh, how pretty is it? It's so pretty. I'll hold it under here. I'll have to go and put it outside in the sun. So maybe my worries weren't really justified. <laughs> I went ahead and put all the little leaves and lilies and things on. But um, it's a really thick one. Oh, look, I think it's really pretty either way. It just, it was so deceptive having the silicone inside the pink mold. See, mine are white and I prefer mine white for that particular reason. You can see what's going on. But when you've got a dark mold, it's really hard to know. Although when you put it down like that, it does look quite dark. And when you have it like this, those leaves on top really come into their own and you think, oh, that just looks like an amazing lily pond with the light shining on. Oh, it's so pretty. But then if you wanted to display it, you could display it like that. Um, and um, yeah, you could see the, the light coming through underneath. Or I actually was going to do a big one like this and turn it into a clock. I've got a, I'm going to do a clock coming up with, um, with uh, you know, the crushed velvet one. I'm going to do a clock with that one. So that'll be coming up soon. Let's have a little look. Look at that. Let's see if I can flip it over one-handed. I probably can't. Look at that. Look at those crystals shining there. You'd think they were real crystals, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's a big chunky crystal. And then we've got the glitter as well. So pretty. Oh well, I'm relieved. I was so worried, you guys, that it wasn't going to work. I love it. All right. Um, I'll set it up outside and take a nice photo. And I'll see you real soon for the next video. Let me know what you think of this one. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.